me. I got dressed as quickly as I could. I went down to the paper and uh, I was just trying to help them on the city desk and somehow or another they'd sent everybody to Dallas. There was nobody there to answer the phone. I mean, you know, we'd never had a story like this. And uh, I, I'm sitting there on the desk uh, just trying to field phone calls and a woman calls and says, is there anybody there and give me a ride to Dallas? And I said, lady, you know, we don't run a taxi here and besides the president's been shot. And she said, well, I just heard on the radio uh, I think they have said my son is the one they've arrested, and, and it was Lee Harvey Oswald's mother. And so I wrote down her address. I had a TR4 sports car in those days, and I knew I, I couldn't take her to Dallas and that. I told her, I said, I'll be out there, I'll be out there to get you. And I went to the auto editor of the paper, who was Bill Foster, and he was driving a Cadillac that week. The two of us uh, went out to the west side of Fort Worth and they're standing on the corner at this address she had given us at the curb was this little woman, gray-haired woman, big black horn rim glasses with a blue uh, travel bag. Uh, and it was Marina Oswald, I mean, uh, Marguerite Oswald. Marina was his, was his wife. Uh, and uh, she got in the back seat with me. Bill Foster drove and uh, we drove her over to Dallas. and. Uh, I interviewed her uh, on the way and uh, she was one of the strangest people I've ever interviewed. She immediately began talking about how uh, people would feel sorry for his wife and give her money and nobody would feel sorry for her and she would starve to death. Now mind you, the president's body was not cold yet and she's already talking about how no one will give her any money. And it was so awful some of the things she said that uh, I just didn't put them in the story. and. I think if I had, we might have had an earlier understanding and a better understanding of who Lee Harvey Oswald uh, was, and uh, because uh, this woman was uh, truly uh, deranged.